Namaste friends. I am Ritesh and today our topic is yoga before bedtime. Friends, sleep is essential for our overall health and it plays a big part on how we perform our day-to-day -day activities. But our minds is always occupied with stress. Stress related to finances, relationships or just planning the next day. In order for our body to relax to a sleeping level, we need to shift our mind to a state of calmness. Medications will lead to addiction. Why not addict ourselves to the holistic approach of yoga? Doing yoga before bedtime will help relax the body and stop the mind chatter. So friends, just five poses to give you a better sleep. So let's lie down on your back. And yes, you would be lying down on the back. I need you. So I lie on the back. Okay. I just hug myself. So I space out my shoulder blades. And I release the arms down. I stretch my legs out and you relax in Shavasana. So your neck is long, your face muscles are relaxed and just observe your breathing. Observe the way you inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now gently tilt your hands either straight if you have space or keep your hands behind the head and relax. Now from here bend the right knee then the left knee. And now keep the sole of the feet on the floor Keep both feet together. Inhale. And as you exhale, take both the knees to your right hand side slowly. Now the both the knees are touching, the ankles are touching and you take it to the side slowly. Now let it be very passive. Don't force that twist and just enjoy your breathing. You're inhaling and exhaling deep. Your shoulders are relaxed. Your face muscles are relaxed. Now, with an inhale, you come back in center slowly. Take few breaths here. And now gently to the opposite side slowly. So here as you exhale, you are bending to your, or basically twisting to your left hand side. And breathe. Inhale, come back slowly. Exhale, release, stretch your legs out and relax in Shavasana. Observe your breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And now from here, let us gently bend both the knees. So friends here you have two options. Either you can get into a child's pose or you can just hug the knees to the chest. So here I am focusing on hugging the knees to the chest or Pavan Muktasana. So I bend it slowly. I hug my knees to the chest. I hold it comfortably. Friends my eyes are still closed so I don't do it with open eyes. Now friends, don't need to force your knees to the chest. 
what I need is just hold it and breathe comfortably. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Just observe your breathing. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So gently increasing that stretch and then release it out slowly and relax in Shavasana. Feel the relaxation, observe your breathing. And now, from here, let us do a Supta Baddha Konasana, that is a reclining bound angle pose. So I bend the knees, I place the sole of the feet together, slowly and gently. And I let the knees fall wide apart. I keep observing my breath. My shoulders are down. My face muscles are relaxed. And I breathe. And let there be a nice passive stretch to your groin. Breathe in, breathe out. And friends, keep observing your breath. And now, as you inhale, you take both the knees together. Stretch your legs out. Now once again, a short Shavasana. Observe your breathing. Allow your body to relax. And now from here, we are doing a Vipreet Karni, that is a half shoulder stand. So friends, if you have a wall, you can just move against the wall and keep your feet on the wall, keep the shoulders down and allow your body to relax. If you find it's too tight, you can bend the knees also. So whatever that you feel you are comfortable with. Once again, shoulders are down, your neck is long, your face muscles are relaxed, your eyes are closed. Enjoy the posture. Observe your breathing. Inhale and exhale deeply. Inhale and exhale deeply. Keep observing your neck and shoulders, they are relaxed. Breathe in and breathe out. Now you can relax till the time you want it. It can be for a few seconds, two minutes. So it depends. From here I come back gently. So just slide. And then get into the final relaxation. So stretch your legs out slowly. Let the shoulders go down. Let the neck go long. And just observe your breath. Allow your body to melt on the floor. See that your face muscles are relaxed. Your jaws are relaxed and enjoy your breathing.
Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. It might happen that when you are in the Shavasana, you might fall asleep. Just let that thing happen. Allow your body to relax and get into that sleep. Continue. Observing the breath, allowing your body to relax. And then, once you feel, you can go into a deep sleep. Friends, that was quite relaxing. Well, and at times I also felt that I was getting into a deep sleep. So, it's a great benefit to your nervous system. It really relaxes your mind. So if you have any mild depression or anxiety, you are out of it. The only thing what you require here friends, is just listen to your body and let it flow, let it go. Okay? So don't hold anything. The very important part is that please connect with your breath. And just observe your breathing. The time you are connected with your breath, the mind is into a different zone. Well, so that was yoga before bedtime. Thank you for watching. So friends, in case you like my video, don't forget to hit the like button. And yes, do subscribe. In case you have any suggestions or comments, please mention in the comment section below. Namaste.